Well, good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutip. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. The war in Ukraine is about to enter its second year. We take a look back at the moment Russia's invasion started, where things stand now. We've got new data on the state of the U.S. economy. We're going to discuss the latest GDP and unemployment figures and what they mean for you. A monster storm is wreaking havoc across the country, snarling commutes and travel, putting tens of millions of people on alert. We're out in the cold with the historic warnings on the way. Plus, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visits the site of a toxic train derailment in Ohio. Our Roxana Saberi is there with the latest on the investigation. And we will ask Dr. David Agus about the dangers people in East Palestine, Ohio, face after plumes of smoke filled the air, as well as some of your other medical questions. But we begin this morning in Ukraine, where schools are closed in case there are new Russian air attacks. Just let that sink in. They close schools just in case a Russian rocket attack happens and falls on the heads of those young children. British intelligence says fighting has intensified in one area of eastern Ukraine, with Russian forces shelling the town of Volderhar overnight. Officials say Russia may launch new attacks there. Tomorrow marks one year since Moscow's invasion of the country. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett is in Kyiv, where he spoke to the city's mayor. Charlie, hello. Hello, Vlad. Uh, when Russia first...